Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Christy with Thrift Addict and I have a huge thrift haul to show you today. Um, I shop at our local Salvation Army, our local thrift shop, and Goodwills. And I have some neat things that I've picked up for not only Poshmark but also for eBay. And I'll show you a lot of different things besides just clothing today. So I hope you're in it for the long haul. Get what I did there? Long haul. Yeah. All right, let's just get started. We're going to start with these really cute shorts by Tula Rosa. I actually picked up these at a Goodwill I'd never been to. It was about 40 minutes out, and it doesn't have a size tag in them, but I think that they're around a small, so I'll have to take really good measurements. But just look at the embroidery detail on these. I love them. I thought that they would be great for festival season, and so I picked those up, and I think that it was going for a goodie a pretty good price online so I can't wait to see somebody pick those up these these are a little more preppy look and I just reminds me of something that someone would wear to the lake house or to the beach it's called Southern Tide it's a size 4 and they are in very good condition it's it's like a mint or a sea foam green it's it's picking up fairly well in the the picture but I think I paid yeah two dollars they were half off the slash there it means half off and so I I think these were selling for around 25 or 30 I think they're really cute this top here is just absolutely stunning I loved it I had to look it up to see um, what it was I knew it was free people and I paid 309 it's intimately free people and I actually looked it up and found that many celebrities have worn a top like this they come in different colors so I saw them in different colors but I love this one it's kind of a dip dyed look and it's got this berry color with the polka dots and then the lace detail into a, a kind of a mauve color and it's just beautiful and I've seen it worn as a dress and with light jeans and it's just really really stunning this tank here I actually found at our local Goodwill and I think it was three dollars um, I think that's what they normally put it say like three or three ninety nine and I just could tell when I felt it it's a really thick good quality it has lots of detail on it it has the gold studs and then the gold grommets at the bottom so it made me want to look it up and it was a very good brand and it was um, selling for quite a bit of money resale so I went ahead and grabbed it it's called seven waves I guess that is the size, a size one. So that's a different kind of size. I've never seen that before, but it has the zebra and look at the back. It's a tea bag and it just has fun prints all up and down and more grommets at the bottom. And this shirt here is a cabbie shirt. It is a new tag and this is a size extra large and it's just a really pretty chiffon shirt with a beautiful print. And I think that's like a cream and a navy color. If you look really close, it looks navy. And I just thought that would be really nice, dressed up or dressed down. It was $4.99 at my local thrift shop. I picked this one up. This is a Lucky brand um, tank top, and it's a size medium. I just really liked it. It was $5 at a Goodwill. That, um, actually, this was at a local uh, thrift store. That um, A lot of their money goes to... Um, charity and to help women in need who have been abused so I, I like shopping there a lot and so I picked this up I think I did get 10% off they were doing a sale that day if you spent $25 you got 10% off so it was a little bit less than $5 but I really liked the embroidery on this one and I thought it would be perfect for summer it's kind of a blue jean color but it's not a blue jean material it's actually a cotton but I thought someone was gonna love that okay the next two tops I'm gonna show you are the logo brand I think it's um Lori Goldstein or Goldstein is how you pronounce it and I found these at our local Salvation Army and they charge two dollars a top so I think they're have the best deals around as of right now but it has this pretty lace look and a chiffon um, piece at the bottom and this is cotton and so it's kind of got that login look going on and it's a very long tank and it is a size extra small actually extra extra small but it looks big to me I guess that's just the way they're made and this one is the same thing so I'm sure the same person donated them um, this is very soft I like this kind of salmon color and it kind of has it's not necessarily a lace 
in some type of lace. And the cute little pockets and the same kind of length tank top look for that one. So that one was also $2. I, these probably go for around $25.30. Um, I'll have to look the exact ones up. Now I got excited. I recognize this. Moo Moo from other people's thrift hauls and I've never found it myself. Now it is just a basic tee, but I've seen that they're selling for about $38 to $40. And this is the brunette bestie one. It is a sleeveless shirt and a longer look and it has the slits on the side. It's a soft material and it's got the distressed edging around as you can see. And I was super excited to find that. Um, so yes, and I think this is called Moo Moo, but it's also got Moo Moo Mellow, I believe, is maybe, there we go, what is this? Okay, the next thing is just a Victoria Pe uh, Secret Pink, and I know that um, a lot of people like these with the sequins, so I wanted to pick that up. I did find this at our local thrift shop for $2.99, and it was in good shape, and so I just wanted to grab it. I thought someone would really enjoy that. This I got because it was half off, so I only paid $1.50 for it. And I know that some people really like this soft and sexy tee. This is the V-neck with the um, collar at the top. And it's just a long, flowy t-shirt. And I just thought that was cute and a pretty mauve pink color. And this here I've seen before. It's a t-shirt, it's stranded. And it's a size medium and it has a star on it and it's kind of like a burnout look. So it's a soft material um, gray with a star on front. And I know people love stars so I got that and it was $1.99 at my local thrift shop. Wild Fox is a t-shirt I know that people really like. This is an extra small. I liked the graphic on this one. I, I thought the eagle was really neat with the arrows at the bottom. It does need to um, have some of it shaved off here. It's got some uh, pilling on it, but I'm sure that's an easy fix and that someone's really going to enjoy that. And I picked that up for $2.99. The next top I picked up at our local Goodwill, and it is made well. It is a size extra small, and it's a beautiful linen top with blue embroidery. And I looked it up. It does need steaming. And... It was said that it was rare, and so I noticed they were selling for 40 or more dollars. So I was really excited to find this. This is the first Madewell brand top I've ever found. So I thought it was really cute and it's good in good condition. Um, this Mave top I found at our local Crisis Center thrift shop, and it needs steaming as well, but it's this beautiful kind of peachy coral look. It says a size 12. It's a very pretty flowy top. It'll be great for summer. I love the little threaded dots that it has on it and the flutter sleeves and the button detail that it has there. And, um, scallop sleeves, not flutter sleeves. Really cute. Great for summertime. This I'm absolutely in love with. I picked this up at a Goodwill that like was about 40 minutes away. Like I said, um, not the same one. I actually picked the threaded shorts up, the Tula Rosa shorts, but this a different one. So this is for love and liberty. It is a size small. Now I know that this brand is a line of Johnny was. So this top, and I believe it's silk, it feels like silk, is just beautiful. And I, I couldn't find, it took me a while to find this exact one. I, I saw a lot of similar ones. So I don't know if it's rare or what. But the prices on the one similar were really high. So, of course, I'm really excited about this piece. And, of course, my husband wanted me to keep it because he thought it was great. But look at the little sleeve. It's so pretty with that embroidery. And it does need steaming. So, I'm going to have to wait for that new steamer to get here before I list that. So, be patient with me on that. This one I actually picked up for myself um, is a size small MG brand and I just, I really liked it. Um, it has this, this pretty like crocheted detail on the sleeves and on the bodice and then the lace at the top and then again at the waistline and then it's kind of got a slight bit high low and it's flowy bell sleeve. I just really like it and I like the kind of washed out color on it if you could see that. I just think it's a really pretty top. 
Okay, this here I thought was really funny and uh, it's a t-shirt by Crescent, but it says donuts, dogs, and sweatpants. Somebody needs this top. Look how cute it is. It's just like a baseball tee. It's really soft, needs steaming, but it's like a high-low uh, t-shirt. I just, all the dog lovers, they need to see this because it is so cute and it's in very good condition. Otherwise, it just needs steaming. This here, and oh, I got that at my local thrift shop for $1.99. This here is a James purse. I've never picked this brand up before, and it is a size two, and it's just a basic uh, long sleeve tee, and it's really soft, and it's a slight powder blue color, um, and I thought that was really nice. So I'll have to look up comps for that as well. I know that's a good brand. Uh, Romeo and Juliet Boutique, and this is a size large. And this, I know that tie-dye is popular, so that's why I picked this up too, and I know that's a, a pretty good brand. Um, it's got these these huge sleeves here, um, kind of like a poncho-like sleeve, and it is oversized, scoop neck, and it's a brown tie-dyed color. So I think somebody will really like that. And this is actually, it's a cabbie top, but it is an old tag, but I got it anyways because it's a size medium so it's a good size and it was only a dollar fifty because they had it half off at my local thrift shop and nautical straps I just I, I think anything nautical is great I love the color and the stripes and so I just went ahead and picked it up it's a very soft material okay this here is figura and flower I think I've gotten a top like this before and I may have sold it on eBay. Um, I'm not sure if this is anthropology, but it is a really pretty floral chiffon top. This is a size large. It's actually great fall colors. Um, I really like the pattern in it and so I wanted to pick that up and I think I paid $1.50 for that because clothes were half off that day. This is Purple Snow, which I believe is an anthropology brand, size large. I paid $3.99 for this. It's got a sheer, um, I guess it's a bell sleeve. And then it has this really neat detail and a tie at the top. And it's pretty long and goes down in a little bit of a high low. And this really pretty floral look with um, this detail. It has like an extra strap. It goes here. Do you see how that is? Really cute. I liked that extra detail there. So I think somebody will really like that. Okay, this is H&M, which I don't see a lot of people pick up this brand because I don't know if it resells for a lot of money, but you have to see this. It is so cute. It says US 10, but this would fit me and I usually wear around a medium if that tells you anything. Look how cute this is. It has lemons and pears and little birds. Is that even a peacock? It's just beautiful. I love it. It's sheer. It's a high-low. Uh, I just thought somebody needed this. Um, it might be me that needs it, but <laughs> it's so cute. Look, at it even has dragonflies on there. I like the colors. I just think that this is a fun summer top, and um, I wanted to pick it up. And it was half off, so I paid $2 for it. So yeah, either I need it in my life or somebody else does. Very cute. I bought this one, I guess at Goodwill. This is a Goodwill tag, but it's Beach Lunch Lounge collection. And I looked up this um, top and I thought, I think they're going for about $25, $30. And I loved this royal blue and black kind of plaid color um, top. So I think somebody will really like that, especially for fall season. This I picked up today, and it was my only find at my local uh, thrift shop, of course. It was $3.99, and then they told me as I was checking out that the whole store was going to be half off tomorrow. But tomorrow, I'm going to the bins, so I'm going to have to miss out on that sale. But this is the first time I've picked up Postmark, and I really like it. It is a nice quality shirt. It has a lot of detail. I like this pen tuck here. Um, it does need a good steaming. It's very blousy can see that and then let me look at the sleeve you can pin um, I'm sorry button this up 
and then it has this pretty stripe fabric on the inside there. So I think that was a really nice find. And it also has Pentux on the back. This here is a Maeve top, which is a size 6. And it's a bright, fun yellow with horses on it. And this was at my local thrift shop. I picked it up for $2. It was half off. And it does need steaming, but I just thought someone was really going to like this fun Maeve top. I just love that. And that is an Anthropology brand, I believe. So, super cute. This is another fun printed top. And this is a Top Shop brand. And it's a U.S. size 4. And look at the cats. It almost looks like Grumpy Cat to me a little bit. But look at all the fun little details of the cats. And this is just a cute little button-up. Um, I just think somebody's going to love that. A cat lover is going to just love wearing that. Super cute. Okay, this, if you've never heard of this, this is not something that I guess is common for Poshmark, but I have sold this on eBay a couple of times. I've sold a women's one and a men's um, shirt. And so when I saw it, I picked it up because it actually sells for 35 or more dollars, depending on if it's used or new. I The men's shirt I picked up was like a black with music notes and I sold it for $55 and it was used. So it is very sought after. The women's shirts go for more like $35 or so. This one here has really pretty floral embroidery with the rhinestones and it is a western shirt and you can see it has the um, the buttons, the snap buttons and even better it's new with tags. Yes. So I was super excited. I found this at our local Goodwill. I think it was $4 is what I paid for it. So I would say that was a pretty good deal. Even if it goes for the lower end, which is 35, still a great deal. So I'll probably put this on eBay. I'm not sure if that'll be a Poshmark brand. Robert Graham. Now, you know, they're really popular for their men's clothing. I know my husband likes their shirts and has some of their shirts. Um, they can go for some subtle prints to some really loud and crazy ones. Um, this is a women's shirt that I picked up. I've never sold one before. I'm not sure how um, they do on Poshmark, but um, eBay, of course, they don't go quite as much as the men's, so we will see, but I liked the detail on the inside here. And you can, you can see it like when it's um, partially embedded at the top. And it has this beautiful um, detail throughout. And their cuffs always have a pretty um, embellishment. And it's like a, this is like a double cuff. You see how you can fold it down or fold it up. So that's kind of a neat little style there. So yeah, so maybe around 35 for that. We shall see. Okay, this was from a... Um, Goodwill that was about 40 minutes away and I think let me see I haven't ever heard of this but I just thought by looking at it, it was good quality it says Lily Wang for Lily's Closet it was actually marked down to $3.59 which I thought was a great deal and if it fit me I'd be keeping it but it has this beautiful paprika color kind of a pumpkin color lace underneath and then this um, over the top in a nice uh, black waistband, um, like a ribbon waistband. And it zips up the back and it's just this gorgeous fall color. And I just thought this would be so pretty on. And I can't wait till somebody picks that up. And I think that they're going for around 30. Again, I'm going to have to look up comps on a lot of this stuff. I just haven't had a chance to write it all down. This is an altered state dress. And I know it's... Um, Typically sold really high um, in their retail store, but the the resale value is not quite as much. But look how pretty this is. I figured that this one would uh, sell really well because of all the really pretty detail. It's got that boho look, the embroidered flowers, the lace, um, and it's this pretty cream color. It'd be great for summer, for like a summer wedding or shower. Um, someone would like to use this. I just, I think it'll sell pretty quick. It's very nice. And I picked that up. I actually paid full price. It was $5.99, but I thought it was worth it. Okay, this is a Gianni Beanie, and this is a size large. And this dress is so stunning. It is a black long sleeve, and it has sheer sleeves. And then it has this tan detail underneath here. It is see-through at the waist. 
and then has lace and then a chiffon double layer at the bottom and it is so pretty and I looked up and I saw one sold for $77 on Poshmark and it's originally $149 and it is new with tags it even has the little buttons and I knew someone would really like this if you can see it's sheer there and in the back it has a zip up and it's sheer you can see that it's lined it's so pretty I just love that stunning stunning so I was really happy to pick that up this is another find from my local thrift shop it was $4.99 it's holding horses. It is a size small plaid dress. This is one of the items I picked up when I was only there for like 30 minutes the other day. And it has pockets. So awesome. Love that. It's, it's a nice, flowy, um, breezy dress. And I love this um, fold-up style on the sleeve. And with the, the different fabric, I think that is really cute. And it has a V in the back as well. So I think that will be really cute on somebody. This here is, um, what is this? I don't know how you pronounce this. Is it R-Y-U or R I don't remember, but I did look it up and I found it and I think it's an anthropology and it had some good comps. So I went ahead and bought it. It's got this kind of boho look and this is a light sweater material and lace. It has this bell sleeve or trumpet sleeve. I keep calling it a bell sleeve. This is a trumpet sleeve and it has a front slit here that opens up and it has more lace. So I just thought that detail was fun. It is gonna be a little bit longer than your um, typical dress there. So that's really nice um, if you don't want something really short. So yeah, this again is a size large and I think somebody's really gonna like this. Um, it may be a little thick for um, some people summertimes, but depending on what area you live in, it is fully lined, so that is nice. And it's got the see-through in the back. Okay, Antonio Milani. This I picked up for $4.99. I, turquoise is my favorite color. Any form or shade of aqua or turquoise just catches my eye. And I like Antonio Milani. I think their pieces are very good quality. And of course, the color is not picking up as well on the video as I'd like. It's just a brilliant color and these buttons I just love the detail on that and these uh, pleats in the front at the waist and down the dress and of course it's going to be a little bit longer than a knee length dress but it is a size 2 and it's more casual piece than you usually see career pieces for them I'm sure they probably had a jacket that went with it but how cute is this tee back and then it has a tie so you can tie it at the waist so it's really fitting and then flares out. I love it. And I got this half off. So I only um, paid uh, $2.50 for that one. So somebody's going to love that. Might be me. Okay, this here is the Dita Zero. This is their Climacool um, athletic dress. And it's this really bright orange and red color. And I thought it was a great summer color, great like tennis um, kind of dress, I suppose. And I noticed that these go for around $25, dollars So I picked up this at the local Goodwill, and it doesn't look like it was hardly used at all. So it's in great condition. And what size is this? I think it's an extra small. Um, yes, extra small. But look at the mesh on the back. It's just really cute. Okay, this is the Calia, is that how you say it? I might be butchering some of these names, but this is the Calia brand by Carrie Underwood. It's her athletic line, and this is a size small, and it's just a floral top with a mesh at the back, and it's kind of a hollow. This is a cotton, so it's a really nice feel to it, and it's really cute athletic top, and there's the back mesh detail there. So I thought that was really nice. And that's the first time I've um, picked up her brand, too. This here I picked up, not because of the brand, but because of the style. This is a wishless uh, size small medium, and it's kind of an oversized sweater cardigan. I liked it because it has a Greek key design. I liked the neutral colors. I liked this kind of poncho sleeve with the button. 
that goes right under the arm, so that's where the sleeve is. I think um, it's really cute, and you can throw it with any on with anything. It was three ninety nine, and we'll see how it does. I just like that Greek key, key design. I thought that was really cute. Here's another um, cardigan. This is a sleeveless one, and I liked this uh, print as well. This is by Blue Pepper. It's a size small, and it's this navy and taupe kind of cream color, and it just has this kind of loose um, front. It's very, it's a longer one, so I liked that, and I just thought it was really cute for $3.99, and look at the back. So that's very... Um, very fun and casual, could be go with anything as well. Here's a new to me brand too. This is called Joie. I think that's how you say it. I've seen some other uh, sellers pick this up and, oops, sorry. I've seen some other sellers pick this up, so I decided to give it a try. It is a silk jacket. What size are you? It's got the, it's got the little tag. I don't see what it says. Oh, it says size 10. 100% silk. Now, I did, it looks like it's in great condition. I didn't notice one thing here that I'm going to have to try to treat. It's a little light stain. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try to treat that and see, see what happens. I will note that in the listing, but it's a very pretty piece, a great career piece, I think. Um, and good for the summer. I like this cream color. Um, this is a BB jacket. I remember back in the day, I used to love picking up BB just for myself. I, I loved their stuff. I thought it was really fun and cool when I was in college, and so I loved wearing it. This was only two oh nine, so I had to get it. I thought someone would really like this piece. It's a nice, uh, longer style jacket. It has this detail at the, the waist, and it's a three-button career jacket. So, I mean, of course their stuff is good quality. So I thought it was worth the $2 and we'll see what happens with it on Poshmark. Okay. That's all for the women's um, clothing. The next stuff I have is men's and I have a lot of luck with men's stuff on eBay. So I like selling it. Um, I think most of the stuff I pick up sells really well. And, and so these things here, I grabbed this brand. Most of the stuff I have to look up too. So Okay, I had to take the dry cleaning tag off. But this is Janelli. I've never heard of it, so I had to look it up. But I knew that it was 100% pure silk. It has these great um, starfish and shell details on it. It's in very good condition, as you can see. And um, I think I got it on half off day. Yeah, so I only paid $2 for it. And I, I think the comps were pretty good on eBay. So that's where I'll list that one. Super nice. And this is Bach Rock. I don't have a clue if that is how you even say it, but that is how this East Texas girl pronounces it. But I've always remember seeing this at the mall and liking their stuff um, for men. And it's new with tags, so it was originally $65. And this is actually 70% linen and 30% silk. And it has this really nice um, detail on the front. I know that this was kind of like... A popular style with like Charlie Sheen so it was really popular on eBay and it's still selling really well this one was also half off so I picked it up for two dollars and of course it's new so it's in great condition good quality shirt Billy Reed this is a new brand to me but I looked it up and the comps are good it's a nice and um, blue and kind of a burgundy plaid and this is a size large and I think I've got this on half off day two. I don't see a tag, so it could have been a good little find. I can't even remember I've been shopping too much lately. So yeah, I, I think um, this will do really well. It's a nice button up men's shirt in good condition. This is Burberry London, and I just uh, thought it was a good quality brand. It's a nice um, plaid shirt, and I think somebody's really gonna like that one. And I picked that up. Or two dollars as well half off okay, this here is a true grit and I have good luck with Western wear so I grabbed this it's an extra large it has these nice um, snap buttons with this kind of purplish detail it is a, a blue color I like the print I think it's great and has these cool pockets um what did I pay for this two dollars half off of a uh, 3.99 what is the deal with the no sizing 
it says right there, extra large. Okay, so that's an extra large. This here is, I think this is the Ted Baker. Yep, this is Ted Baker, London. It says a size five. Um, so yeah, not sure. Half off sale, two dollars at my local thrift shop. I liked the the print on it, and I think it'll do well. It's a nice uh, dress shirt. Okay, now on to some other items and accessories. Okay, this is a Victoria's Secret Sport sports bra. It's their their logo style. It has these neat cross uh, crisscross straps in the back, and it's in really really good condition. It still has the hang tag, and it is a size medium. So I'm hoping to at least get around 20 for this because it is in such good condition. So we'll have to see. Also picked up some jeans. And this pair here is from a Goodwill that was a little ways away. And they actually were on sale for half off. So this is a level 99 jean. And I've never picked it up, but I've seen other sellers pick it up. So I decided to give it a try. Um... They look to be in really good quality. They are a skinny jean and a dark wash with this little uh, faded detail. The only thing I notice here on the back is it's got this kind of mark. So I'll have to show that in the listing. I, I think that's, excuse my language, that's going to probably go up in the crack area. So it's not even going to show once you're wearing them. So um, I thought $3 was a, a good price to try these out on Poshmark. And then these were my local thrift shop, and they had half off on these, so I got them for $2.50. And these are the Andrea, wait, Adriana Goldschmi. Here we go again with I don't know how to pronounce anything. And this is the Angel brand um, pants, and I think they are a boot cut. So they're a boot cut, um, and they're in good quality. I, I see that it says it's a 28 regular. So I think that this is a really good brand. I'm excited to see how those do. There's a cute pocket. It does have some wear on the tag on the back, so I'll have to show that. Okay, these are so fun because I wore these when I was like middle school or something. Vintage Guess. Look at that. Vintage Guess jeans. This is like the second pair I found. The first pair I found was actually a men's because it had a green guest sign, and I sold those on eBay. And they went for pretty good, maybe like $40, I want to say. I'll have to look it up because I don't remember. Um, yeah, this says size, what was that? Size 30 guest jeans, so they're going to be that high-waisted. You can see the rise in them. Uh, it's pretty high, so they're kind of that high-waisted mom jean. So if those are still a thing... These are perfect, or somebody could buy them and, you know, cut them off and make some fun little high-waisted vintage guest shorts. Okay, and then the last pair of jeans I got are the, um, I think these are not your daughter's jeans. These are a size 12, and I picked them up. I know that they um, have kind of a following, so I've heard. And they were only $2.50, so I wanted to grab those. Okay, I wasn't kidding that I have a ton of stuff. I've been shopping a lot. So I'm going to show you my shoes that I got now, and I have a lot of these too. So bear with me on this. It's going to be fun. These are a Vince loafer. So this nice um, black basic loafer. Um, I think these are a 9 uh, medium. And so there's what it looks like on the inside there and so I think these will go great you know in anybody's closet and um, so they're nice basic to have and I also picked up these Ivanka Trump pumps and I love this little gold detail on the back and these are a little bit of a smaller size but I like the neutral color of them I believe that these are a five a five medium on those and I don't I think those were five dollars so each of those shoes were five dollars at our local crisis center now these are so much fun. Check this shoe out. Who doesn't need a hamburger Converse? Okay, look at those. How fun are these? I don't think I've ever seen, here, this way. I don't think I've ever seen a shoe like this. So these are gonna be great for somebody's closet. And I think these are a, what size are these? Size five men. So does that equal a seven women's? I think so. Okay. 
I picked these up. Um, I couldn't decide if I was going to keep them for my daughter. They are very fun, bright colored pair. And they were $4. And they are the brand Jambu or Jambu. And they're brand new. Look, they still have the little plastic inserts in them. But I actually looked them up on eBay and I think I saw them for $33. So I'm not sure she needs them that bad. We shall see. But those are a really cute shoe. I've got more. Hold on. These right here. I've actually picked these up before and they sold really quickly on eBay. And this is a Finn Comfort shoe. And they're very good, like orthopedic shoes. I think um, diabetics um, wear these. This is a size of five and a half wide. And so these can go anywhere from $40 to $60, depending on the style that you find and the condition. These are in great condition. It's a nice suede with a leather um, toe. And um, the sole is even, I mean, look at the bottoms. I don't even think they were hardly worn. And so I got that at the local crisis center. I did pay up for these. They were $10 because I knew I could turn around and sell them for a pretty good amount. And so I think the comps are really good on that one. So I was excited to find those. And these I thought were really cute. My niece has a pair of these and she loves them and wears them all the time. And um, my local thrift shop actually marked um, these up a little higher than they normally do. So these were $7.99. And they do need a cleaning, but I have a little suede brush. You'll get that right off. Otherwise, look at the sole. Very good condition. And these are a size 8.5 where they would be in my closet. So yes, these are, and these are Tom's by the way. I don't know if I said that. Little suede wedge boot. So those are really cute. Okay, these I actually bought for myself. These are Bandolino, and they're a gray, a gray um, suede wedge. And they had them marked $7.99, but they were 90% off. So I think, what is that, 80 cents I paid? And I love them. I needed some neutral gray pumps, so there you go. Those are for me. And I think this is the last pair of shoes I have. I need to clean these up a bit, but it's some Berkies. Yay! I've never picked these up either. Um, they were $4.99, and they're the floral pattern, the three straps. You can kind of see it says Berkies there on the side. So those are just a fun shoe. Um, I know they're really popular. I know my students at school wear these all the time, and I see uh, tons of people wearing them. Um, what is the size? Somebody's going to have to comment below and tell me how I find the size for these things. Because I am not seeing it anywhere. Maybe it's under the price tag. Okay, anyways. So that's all the shoes I found. Now I have to show you some swimsuits. I told you, we're just going to keep going. You may have to pause me and come back to me later. But you don't want to miss some of the stuff that I have, I promise. This right here is a nice little tankini swim top, and I picked it up because it is new with tags, and it does, um, it's Ocean Dream, and it does sell for a, a good amount, and I think I got this at my local Goodwill, and so it's a pretty color, and I think um, it's great for summer. Obviously, it's a swimsuit. This one is really, really cute. And this is a Trina Turk swimsuit here. And I just really like this pattern. It's this beautiful um, kind of paisley looking pattern. Lots of fun colors. It has a crisscross in the back and this tie in the back. So there is the Trina Turk tag. And this is a size 4. So look at the little cutout detail too at the chest with this band across. So I think somebody's really going to enjoy that. And then I picked this up. Now there's three pieces to this and I, I, I don't know if I should sell these all together or separately. But let's do this. It's a Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret uh, brand swimsuit. So all three pieces are. It still has the little the little crotch 
thing in there so I don't think it's been worn and then it still has like the little tags on them like that no tag but whatever this little plastic thing is but look how cute this is it's um it's got this little swim trunk with the tassels that you can tie on the side like the little pink tassels I love the colors on this and then this top matches it and this is kind of a padded push-up and then it also has the tassels in the middle there and I believe that this is a double D and it also has the little plastic thing for the hang tag so yeah 34 double D on that so those two pieces match obviously and then this purple also coordinates and this top is really cute so there's that and it, this one is lined it does have lining and you can take that um, out as well and this is also a Victoria's Secret brand large and it also has the little plastic tag so let me know what you think should I try to sell them all together or um, sell them separately I definitely want to put these two together but I'm not sure about this but it matches and I don't know what somebody's gonna do with this if they don't have this to go with it but don't you like changing things out I mean I do so I like things that I can mix and match so I only paid three dollars for for all three of those pieces okay next thing I have is um, some purses Okay, actually found this at Goodwill and it was only $4. It is a fossil purse and it's got leather straps. I, I do need to do a little cleanup on that. That is the only thing I noticed on the whole purse um, that was discolored or looked used in any way. It is in great condition. It's got these beautiful um, knotted details with the beads on it. The front zipper, the side pockets here on both sides. It still has this tag on it. Look at the inside. I think this sold for like, I found it online and I think it was sold $3.99 originally. I just couldn't believe it. There's the little key zipper here. And see, there's the um, logo on the inside. And it has uh, two pockets here for like your phone and other stuff. But see, if you could just see inside this, look how good a condition that is. I really, if I carried purses that were similar to these, I'd be keeping it because it's so cool. It's such a cool, nice piece, and it's very substantial. So I think somebody is going to love and appreciate this because it is really cute. So I picked that up. Now, I could not believe that I found this at Goodwill for $4. I don't think that they knew what this was because... It doesn't, you know, Tory Burch doesn't typically have a tag on it. Um, it's just got the emblem. Sometimes it has it on the inside, but this just has her emblem. And I did a lot of research to see if this was real, and everything I found points that this is actually real. First of all, it's heavy. It's, it's definitely leather. It's very soft leather. Um, so I just knew. I knew by looking at it. I've asked several people. Um, so when, once I found out that it was actually authentic, I got really excited. And I really don't know if I want to keep this or not. Um, but look, it is, it is really loved. It does have some wear on the edges here and there. But look, it still has the long strap as well. And it does... Uh, have a little bit of, of marks on the inside so um, but I still think it is a great piece that somebody's really gonna appreciate but look how cute all the gold detail is on the back as well as the emblem on the front and then you've got the pocket on the front but yeah it's a super nice purse kind of looks good on me I don't know what do you think guys should I keep it or should I sell it I don't know I'm pretty excited about it so yeah, we'll see. It might end up in my store. Okay, I'm gonna show you some things that I got to sell on eBay, and this is um, this is not typically something that you would see on a thrift haul because it's very odd. So let me grab a few things. Now, if you find the link below for my eBay store, you will see um, I have a wide range of things that I have in there. And it doesn't have a lot in there right now because um, 
it's just been crazy busy at work and I haven't hardly listed anything and I'm just now getting back into it. So, but you can see from what I have, I've sold some random stuff. You may think I'm crazy. This piece right here, that looks like a moo moo. Do you see it? Okay, yes. You may not have heard of this, but this is called, is it, is it Christ or Christ? I don't, I hate to say it like that, but Gun, 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 Gunnason, Chris Gunnason. I have no idea, but I actually picked. This is the second time I found one of these. They had it on their dollar rack at my local thrift shop a long time ago, and it had a really cool print. It was like animal print and kind of some patchwork on it, and something about it, the thickness of it, it made me want to look it up. I just thought this it was unique, and I'd never seen anything like it. And when I looked it up, I saw that some of these dresses go for up to $50. And so, of course, I grabbed that one, and it wasn't even that great a shape, and it sold within a week. And... I want to say for like $40. So I turned a dollar into 40. So I was super happy to find this again. And this was the other day I picked this up and I paid $2 for this one because it was half off and it's a size large. And this one has a really cool, um, Asian look to it. See there. I love this. I love the color. This is actually in better shape than the other one that I had. The other one had the tag was all ripped out. It has pockets. So yeah, We'll see. We'll see what this one will go for, but I promise um, it, it's a good turnaround if you can get them for cheap, and um, there's not a whole lot of them out of there, so it's different. And, okay, look at this dude. He is so funny, and I have yet to look, put batteries in to see if he works because I think he's supposed to talk, but this is from the Shrek movie. If you've ever seen Shrek, um, this is a Puss in Boots, and Funny thing is, actually, a month or so ago, I picked up the Shrek baby doll. I'd never seen one before, and I just knew it was rare because I go to thrift shops all the time, and, and I see things over and over, some of the same stuff. And I knew that Shrek baby doll was uh, something unique. And, of course, I looked it up, and sure enough, they were selling for over $40. So I picked him up, and he sold pretty quick. Um, actually, I think it was the girl baby, so the girl Shrek baby. So this one here is not going for as much. It's not going for $45, but he is going for about $25. So hopefully he works. If not, my kids will get a kick out of playing with them. So um, I grabbed him because I think I only paid like $2.99 for him. So, yep. So, yeah, he's a good, he's a cute little thing to put on eBay. Okay, if you've looked at my eBay shop, you may see I have several blankets and loveys on there. Um, that is actually something that I found was a... Uh, kind of a profitable thing to pick up in the beginning. You know, I know it, when my kids were really small, if they lost their favorite blankie or whoopee, that I would have to go somewhere and find it if they didn't sell it in the stores anymore. So this one here is really cute. It's a little sunshine. It's like this, this pale yellow and has this soft material on the other side. So I try to, um, now that I've been selling on eBay longer, I try to pick up ones that are a little more rare and that go for at least $20. Now, some of the ones that are still in my store, I do have priced under $20. They probably were purchased before I kind of decided to do that. But any, if you're getting them for really cheap at like garage sales and stuff like that, a um, dollar or less, it's, it's even worth to flip for $15. But um, sometimes if there's a lot of them listed, then they're going to sit for a long time. So I try to take that into account when I pick pick them up now but I think this one is a little more rare so I decided to give it a try and um, I actually think I just sold a levy like a few days ago so yeah it's a good thing to to look into and and try to pick those up along with with infant blankets so yeah I think that is all for my haul oh except for my shirt I thrifted this fun little friend shirt too when I was out shopping so I always tend to pick something up for myself and my kids so yeah I think that is it. <sighs> My goodness, that was long. I hope you really hung with me through that and hope that you found some, some neat things and you learned some things. And now I've got a lot of work to do. I cannot believe I'm going to the bins tomorrow to get more stuff when I have such a huge amount to list. But, you know, 
it's my first time going. My friend said she could go this weekend, so I'm excited. We're going to go make it like a day trip, get some lunch together. So hopefully I'll have a haul video soon if I find some goodies there. I'm crossing my fingers because I, I don't know how good this one is. I haven't heard about it. So we shall see, and I will keep you updated. Again, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And I appreciate you.